and welcome back to the channel. We're here in Bushy Park because I've got this shoe to do some testing with today, the Adidas Takumi, Te Takumi Sen, because yeah, we've got a fun session to do training for the 5K race I have coming up this Friday, but more importantly, Manchester Marathon. So as always guys, how's your training going? Let me know down in the comments. Me and Sarah are gonna get the bike out. We're gonna go for a little 5K warm up jog around the park then get these on and see what they feel like. Are they gonna be on my feet for the race on Friday or are we gonna go with the street flies? Right, sit back, relax. Really looking forward to this one, guys. Let's get this done. Good to be back in Bushy Park. Just behind me is the start of maybe the most famous 5K in the world. The first ever park run was here in Bushy Park and that's the start line just there. So we're gonna do about 4K, change into the shoes, put the Takumis on, see what they feel like. I haven't run a single step in them yet, so pretty excited for that. And then yeah, we'll roll into the session. We'll have a chat about that then. First time putting them on. Obviously, we tested out the uh, Adios Pros last summer. That didn't go very well. <laughs> they, uh, they were straight on eBay afterwards. Just didn't suit my foot. So, not holding out that much hope for these, but always, you always think that maybe it'll be a pleasant surprise. Any other facts and figures you want to talk about? Uh, well, I don't know, I say this is like a 10K to half marathon shoe which I go along with. I mean, I use, I have run a marathon in an older version of the Takumis when they were a lot lower stack height. Um, now, the Adidas used to make two versions of this, the Takumi Sens and the Takumi Ren, um, but they haven't brought the Ren back, <laughs> which was an even more aggressive um, racing flat. Um, but yeah, they've brought this line back after, I guess, a few years of, of not making them. But 230 grams, in my size, 210 in the street fly, and uh, they've got the same uh, rods, uh, which you can see underneath, that uh, all the Adidas Elite shoes now, but still a lot of the light strike, light strike, light, light strike pro uh, foam. I love putting on lightweight race shoes, they just feel so nice, and they just make you want to just get out there and run super fast. So, whatever happens today, you're not wearing those on Friday for your race, you're definitely wearing the street flies. Well, I guess I'm probably, the street flies feel so nice, but you never know. You might be surprised. That's why we're doing this. Review after 200 steps coming now. Yeah, they certainly feel a lot more stable compared to the Adios Pros. So hopefully we'll get through the session. Okay, well, I have got a re reserve pair of shoes in Sarah's bag just in case. But yeah, facts and figures on the shoe. 33 mil stack height at the back. So like before, not a track shoe, but perfectly legal in any road racing. Uh, six mil drop, so what is that? 33 minus six, 27 stack at the front. About 170 of your great British pounds to get a, a pair of these shoes. And as always guys, I bought these with my own money to test out that little hope that I could find a pair of Adidas shoes that I would get on with. Maybe 2022 will be the year. Because I've got this race in a few days time, the uh, Pearl 5K, which is the podium uh, group and the under the lights group are putting on this like proper, proper creme de la creme elite race in Bassey Park in central London. I've managed to get a spot in basically wave three, um, just about hanging on at the back. So really looking forward to that one. But today's session's not gonna be super tough. I have actually programmed five by K into my watch. I might change that to four. We'll see how, I just don't wanna completely gas myself too much. So four or five by a K, and then four or five by 200 meters after that. And what rest but, did you say rest? Uh, I didn't say rest, it'd be about two minutes. Yeah. Look at the size of these deer here, guys. Absolutely huge. Let's just have a quick pause. 
Yeah, look at that. I'm feeling very much safer this side. First rep will be a bit downhill, second round back to the start for uphill, downhill, uphill. So they're not going to be that consistent, but just about getting the effort in. Here we go, getting fit, getting ready for Manchester sub 2.30. Let's get this. Three of five on that first rep, but a little bit wind behind and a little bit downhill. So you're going to be a bit slower going back up, but hopefully around three tens. Right, two minutes recovery and uh, then rolling back into it. Rep number two, let's go. Come on, Sarah. Three oh eight up the hill. Yeah, enjoying it. Enjoying these shoes a lot more than I thought. Just bought this new watch. The Garmin. It's called a Garmin Epix. It's basically a new Phoenix Seven with a very, very nice AMOLED screen. But unlike things like the Apple Watch or the Cento 7, things like that, have these glorious screens. The battery life is amazing. I charged it to full rack. It has seven days of battery life. I haven't charged it yet. And I've been running with over half a week and done lots of runs in it so far. So positive signs. Full review to come on the channel soon. Rep number three, come on. Three or six, working hard on these 1K reps, guys. But it's okay, enjoying it. I think this might be the last K rep. See how I feel afterwards. Got to get up, back up the hill now. Come on, guys, rep number four. Let's go. Oh dear, that was a tough rep back up the hill, 315. So let's call the reps uh, there and have a jog recovery for that K. But I'm not going to send myself to the wall and dig myself a hole that's going to take days to get out of. Bank, three really good reps, one average rep, and now move on the 200s. Let's go! If you like these kind of videos guys, like, subscribe, share with a friend and keep on getting it done. Right there we go guys, another session in the bank. That we did struggle a little bit in the, in the middle there, but that's life, that's sessions. Though my volume hasn't increased about 140k a week at the moment, my intensity definitely has. So just need to keep an eye on that, make sure I'm not overdoing it, concentrating on all the usuals, that recovery, that all important sleep will be absolutely fine. So now we've got three days to uh, rest and recover. Get some nice easy mileage in and get ready for the uh, 5k on Friday. Back at the car, the GoPro battery is failing, the sunlight is failing here today. So let's head home and have a chat about all our first impressions of these Takumi Sens, whether we're gonna use them on Friday or whether we're gonna if the streak flies or maybe even the vapor flies. And let's make a decision now and talk about, yeah, my first impression of these shoes, what I liked, what I didn't like after this session. And then we can do a full in-depth review in a few weeks time. I hope you enjoyed that. Right, let's drive home and have a good catch up when we get back there. 
Right guys, so the, whoa, that's us back at home. I would say it was later on the day, but it's not. We're now here on Friday and I've got to get off to this 5K race. So is it going to be the street flies or are we going to be taking the Takumis or maybe the vapor flies? I don't know, I haven't got them here. Anyway, let's just have a quick chat about the facts and figures on the, I've got to hold this, <laughs> picked up the wrong shoe, in, but with the Takumi Sen. So you've got this lovely Lightstrike Pro foam. I think this comes in at 33 mil. The Adios Pro comes in at 39 and a half at the legal limit stack height. But this amount of foam is just a really nice sweet spot. It, I really enjoyed it. The first Adidas shoe I've actually enjoyed running. It was nice and soft from the off, much more softer than the Boston 10. So a big, big like for this foam here. The big difference with these type of shoes is the weight compared to the Big Brother Marathon versions. The Street Fly comes in in my size at 210 grams. This is a little bit heavier, up about 230, but a significant decrease. I'll put what the Adios Pro is on the screen now, I don't know off the top of my head, but a significant decrease. And with that, it just cut, it's just a lot lighter on the feet, a lot easier to run in, and you just can up your cadence and be able to run a lot faster and less fatigue on the body, bo body, body before your legs start to tire at long distances. So you've got this lovely continental rubber outsole here, really, really grippy as I was running along. Yes, it wasn't very wet um, in the park there, but yeah, didn't have any issues, any sort of slipping. And the foot really nicely locked down the shoe. I did redo my laces just before we got going. Nicely locked down, no heel issues, no slipping, no hot spots and it was absolutely fine. I, I did the rest of my warm up and I also did about three or four K warm down afterwards, all different paces. They all felt pretty comfortable. I was quite surprised at the ability, the wide range of this shoe. And as with all the super fast Adair shoes, you have the rods in the bottom here, uh, their version of the carbon plate. They're just working so well with the Lightstrike Pro foam in this shoe. It does make me think that maybe when I tested out the Adidas Pro 2 last year, I just had a duff pair because in this shoe, this is working so well. I would like to get a new pair in, but that's kind of been and gone. In this combination, this shoe didn't have any of those issues that I had in the Adios Pro. Nice and stable, underfoot, no rocking at each side, landing in my normal place, running how I'd normally run. It really was an absolute joy to run in this shoe. Really over-delivered on what I was expecting. So any dislikes? Well, I suppose you could say the price. It is uh, in here in the UK about 170 pounds. I think in the US it's about 180 US dollars. Yeah, it's a little bit expensive. Still a lot cheaper than those high-end shoes, but Nike have come, come out with this at 135. If you can get your hands on it, they are gonna be releasing this shoe quite soon. A little bit more expensive than that, but if you're a big Adidas fan, you really like the Adidas Pro 2, this is gonna be a really nice training companion to that shoe. It's something you can really do those faster workouts, and maybe you're just not a marathon runner. You want something for your 5Ks, your 10Ks, and your half marathon. This is gonna be a really good solid shoe for that sort of option. So there we have it, guys, my early thoughts on this shoe. Yes, I have really liked it. It's really delivered. We're only one run into this, but so far, it's got a really big tick for me. It's felt nice, it's felt fast, it's felt comfortable. And it's just something I really would enjoy putting back on my feet for the next run. But what are we gonna wear tonight? I think for me, it just I'm gonna go for the streak fly tonight. And I think that is simply based on, this is just so much more of a natural run feeling. I feel this is very similar to the, the racing flats of old. The shoes nowadays, they've got the big stack heights, they've got the, well this has the, the shank in the middle of it or the rods in this one. They're bringing that technology down. It's a really interesting shoe, part of the shoe market at the moment where no one has been looking for the past few years. Everyone's been concentrating on the marathon shoes. And now that tech is, is filtering down to the racing flats. But for me, this has just got a little bit too much going on with the rods, the higher stack height. I just prefer this. It feels faster because it's just a bit lighter on my foot and my feet can turn over a little bit better. It just gives me a little bit more confidence with that lightweight and that turnover. So that's what we're gonna go for tonight. We'll see if it works. The new video from that will be out early next week. So tune in to see how we get on. So that's it guys, thank you so much to everyone for tuning in to another video. We couldn't do this without your support. So all those likes and those shares and let us know down below, what shoe would you want to wear in your next 5K, 10K or half marathon between these two? It'd be great to catch up down in the comments. Thank you all the supporters here on YouTube, the Patreon legends as well. Check out the website for all the very best gear and the dress training plans to help you get your PB as well. That's it guys, thank you so much and we will see you in the next one.